Hi there, welcome back to Rosin by Drew. Now today I'm going to do a little experiment. I know a lot of people are struggling when it comes to getting flowers to bloom and um, they're asking how long to leave the resin to go off a little bit to start to get warm. Um, but that can do, that so many different factors can but make that vary. There's no straight answer. The temperature, the humidity, um, the temperature of the room, the temperature outside where your resin's being stored. So today I'm going to do an experiment to see if um, we can determine the temperature that the resin needs to be and then I'll do a few more experiments on different types of resin to see if they all need to be the same temperature in order to work. So I'm going to start off, I've mixed my resin to start with, so I'll check the temperature while it's still in the, in the carton, in the tub, and it's 23.9 degrees. So I'm going to pour it into my little moulds. Um, I'm using a mould from um, Moulds and Shapes. I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter around the outside. and then pop this in the middle yeah I've got access to quite a few different resins so I thought I'll try this resin to start with today I'm using um, resin Pro transparent resin. So I'll try this one to start with and then I'll try a couple more and see if they all need to be a consistent temperature or if that's something that varies from brand to brand of resin. But I thought at least if we can determine what temperature the resin needs to be that is something more reliable to go on than just waiting for a, a, um, a certain amount of time because as I say there's so many different factors that can influence that from the weather outside to the temperature inside and even the humidity and where the resin's being stored as I said before. Right okay so that's all poured in now. I'm just going to top one of these up. Top that one up a little bit. More. There we go. I'll leave that a minute because I think it'll cool down a little tiny bit maybe um, because I've just poured it out into the mould so I'll leave it for a minute. I have saved about 30 grams of resin on one side that I'm going to be mixing with white paste and I'm just going to be doing a plain white flour. Um, I'm going to be drying the petals with a piping bag um, and we'll see what happens. So I'll keep pausing the video and I'll keep coming back and checking the temperature and once it gets to the temperature where I think the flowers are ready to go we'll see what that temperature is, we'll do the flowers and we'll come back and assess the results and then we'll try the same temperature with a different brand of resin. So let's check the temperature of the resin now. No, it's actually warmed up a little bit. It's now 25.4 degrees Celsius. They all around the same, 24.5. 25.5, that one's warmer. So about 25, about 25 degrees Celsius at the moment. So we'll come back, I'll give it a little while. I'm going to be, I'm going to be checking the consistency as well because I have got a rough idea of where the consistency needs to be, although that isn't necessarily guaranteed to work. Um, but I'll keep coming back and recording while we check the temperature. We'll keep an eye on it and we'll see where to go from there. Back soon. Okay. So my resin's been sat now for about 15 minutes. So let's just te check the temperature. 32.6 on that one, 32.1, 31.2, so they're all varying very slightly, 33, so the average is about 32.5 I would guess. Let me just check the consistency, now checking the consistency because I have got a little bit of experience and knowledge on whether the um, 
resin is ready to go by the consistency I can see that it isn't ready yet so I'm going to leave it again leave it for another five or ten minutes come back and check the temperature check the consistency and see if we're ready to go from there okay so the resin's now been sat for about just under 30 minutes so let's check the temperature 35.1 One's warmer. There's one that's warmer than the rest and the one that's colder than the rest for some reason. Um, so about 35 degrees they are at the minute. I think, judging by the consistency, probably going to be about 40 degrees or getting up towards 40 degrees by the time they're ready for piping. Um, and for my white, I'm just going to be using um, a piping bag and I'm going to be using um, La Res Expressions um, in titanium white. And I've just made about 30 grams of uh, paste with about 30 grams of resin mixed with the pigment paste. But I can feel that the resin in the piping bag, the paste in the piping bag is starting to get quite warm. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to measure the temperature of this accurately because it's um, inside the piping bag but it is saying 37 degrees so I'll leave it for another five minutes and we'll check the temperature again and then we'll see where we're up to from there so this has been sitting for a while now it's looking like it's getting to the right consistency so let's check the temperature and see if we're ready to go 36.8 so it's still around 36 but I can tell from the white as well um, and I have done flowers quite a few times that it probably is ready to go so I'm going to say let's see I'm going to start 37.8 36.3 so we're, say we're averaging about 36.7 um, but I can see from the consistency that we're probably ready to go so I'm going to snip a little hole in my piping bag. My piping bag is very warm actually. I'm just going to snip the tip of the piping bag off. Check the size of the hole. I'm going to start with the hottest one, which is this one. I'm just going to pipe in a little spiral. Wobbly there. Oops, gone over the edge. Wobbly hands today. two do little flower shapes and just see if the flowers come out any different just checking for blobs while I'm piping because I will just move any little blobs along just so that they don't have a tendency to sink and last one the white is very warm now in my hand
There we go. the ones where I started I'm going to come from the outside in you can see how thick the resin is now and it is dragging it a bit to draw some petal shapes and we'll go from the middle to the outside you can see how much it is dragging the resin so it is thickening. And I'm not dragging the stylus along the bottom of my mould, I'm just dragging it through the resin. Actually, I might leave this one and just see how this blooms on its own. Just do a swirl in the middles. And this one's really thick, but again, the white is thick as well. Did you check the temperature of the white? But let me just check it now and see what the temperature of the white is. It's not been that long since I um, since I used it, so let's just see what the temperature is. 46.4 the white so the white is um, very warm now quite thick I'm just going to use my heat gun to make sure I've no bubbles I'm going to use it in a very very gentle setting the lowest setting if you can see but on the ones where I've actually drawn the purple spirals it is actually just starting to bloom already Okay, so we'll say bye for now, back tomorrow, and we'll see how these turn out at the temperature they are, and then we'll try another resin at the same temperature and see if we can tell what temperature the resin has to be to get the correct flower consistency each time. See you soon. Hi, welcome back. Now, when I started my channel, I decided I was going to show the good, the bad and the ugly and I could just delete this video and start again but I want to show you what's happened so basically the white hasn't bloomed as much as I expected or as much as I thought it would so I think, I don't think that's to do with the temperature of the um, the resin in the mould I think that's more to do with the temperature of the white so I'll demold and show you what I mean so 
so it has bloomed this one has bloomed a bit it's left me some negative space um i think i would put um a glitter coat or a dark coat on the back um to add a little bit more interest to it let's carry on taking them out again it's bloomed a bit not as much as i would have hoped or expected and these two haven't bloomed anywhere near as much as i would have expected so what i'm going to do is go again but do the white slightly different i think the the temperature of the um, base resin needs to be about the same um, perhaps a little bit less we'll we'll have, we'll have a play with it but the white I think needs to be slightly cooler so I think I'll not mix the white up to, um, and put it, pop it in the piping bag until I'm closer to the time where I'm ready to use it um, so I'll say bye for now um, and I'll just I'll set up and we'll do the experiment again so um, I am happy with those two just not so much with these two but um, like I said, we'll redo the experiment. Um, I'll be back shortly. Bye for now.